Hello Pretzel Kids, I've got another tale for you today um, and it's inspired by Michael Rosen's wonderful book Going on a Bear Hunt. So first of all we're going to warm up our bodies ready for our bear hunt. So come into your mats or on the floor wherever you're doing your yoga practice. I'm coming to a nice cat pose. Let's have a little sway from side to side. Maybe a little circle around. Changing the other way. And maybe have a little stretch through your spine, so arch your spine. And then arching the other way. Good, stretch your leg out. Maybe stretch your arm out as well. Change into the other side. Good, yeah, coming back to the mat. Tuck your toes under and we're coming all the way into a downward dog. And keep the knees nice and soft, nice sway from side to side through the hips. In your downward dog, we're coming into a bear pose. So keep the knees nice and soft. And we're just going to walk around in a circle. Good, coming back to your mat. And then lowering the thighs all the way down to the mat. Into a snake pose. And in snake pose, have a little rock from side to side. Coming into a nice quiet mouse pose. So bottom comes back to the heels. Just going to do that one more time. So coming up into your cat pose. Have a nice arch through the spine. Nice stretch through the leg, maybe at the opposite arm. Change into the other side. Think about how cats might stretch out. Giving the arm and the leg back down. Tuck your toes under, coming up into your downward dog. Imagine you've got a nice waggy tail. Have a nice sway through the hips, wagging your tail. And keeping the knees nice and soft into your bear pose. So have a little wander around your space, around the room. Take your time. Lovely, make your way back to your mat. Drop your legs all the way down to the mat into a snake pose. A little wiggle through the lower back, through the hips. And then bottom comes back to the heels into a nice quiet mouse pose. Good, then make your way all the way up to sitting on your mat. Lovely, so now we're going to start our story. So, we've just woken up from a lovely long nap, so we need to have a nice big stretch. So, in, drop your fingers, turn your palms to face down, and as you breathe in, stretch your arms all the way up, and exhale, release the arms wide. Okay, so again, inhale, the arms reaching up, exhaling wide. One more time, inhaling up, exhaling wide. Good, so now it is time for breakfast. So we're going to take our legs wide and we're going to make a nice big bowl of porridge. 
So taking a nice big wooden spoon and we're going to stir the porridge all the way up. Really big bowl of porridge. Okay, we don't want any lumps in our porridge. So we're going to change to the other direction as well. Yum, looking delicious. So now we're going to put on our favourite toppings. So we're going to reach behind into the cupboard, take out whatever your favourite topping is. I'm going to reach up for a jar of honey. So taking one hand behind, reach up, lift the hips, grab your jar of honey, whatever it is, and then tip some into your porridge. Good, now think of another topping that you might like on your porridge. And we're going to reach for that one from the other side. So taking the other hand behind you, reaching up, grab whatever your topping is. I'm going to sprinkle some cinnamon. Lovely. And then maybe a little bit of chopped fruit as well. We've got two chopping boards, one on one leg, one on the other. So you can have two fruits. So I'm going to chop up a banana. So I'm going to chop my hands down my leg all the way down to my foot. And then sprinkle the banana in. And I'm going to have some strawberries as well. So I'm going to chop them up on the other leg, sprinkling them in. But you can have whatever you like. Good, I'm going to take nice big spoonfuls. So as you take a spoonful, your porridge goes down. So you have to lean a little bit further forwards. For each spoonful that you take, make sure you get all the way to the bottom of your bowl. Mmm, -mm, delicious. Good. So now we need to get ready to go out on our bear hunt. So we're going to put on our favourite biggest boots. So stretch up one leg, pull your boots on, and the other leg, pull your boots on. Good. And we are ready to go. So first of all, we come to our garden gate. So we're going to come up to a nice kneeling posture. I'm going to take one leg out to the side. I'm going to open the gate, so we're going to slide your arm down as you lift up the other arm. So we've opened the gate, and as we walk on through, then we need to close the gate. So taking the other leg out, slide the arm down, lift the other arm, reach up, come back up. Lovely. Now the first thing we see right in front of us, out of our garden gate, is a great big hill. So we're going to have to climb up the hill. So to climb up the hill, I'm going to try and take nice big steps, opposite arm and leg. So lift one arm and the opposite leg. Then bring those down. So lift from the other leg and the other arm. Okay, so we're going to climb up. It's a very steep hill. Lifting opposite arms and legs. Maybe beginning to get a little bit faster, but still lifting opposites. Good. until you reach the top of the hill. Now at the top of the hill, there's a beautiful big tree. So taking one leg up into the inside of the opposite thigh, and then maybe have your arms spread out. And maybe there's a bit of a breeze. So maybe having a little sway through the arms. Okay, can you keep your balance? Okay, taking that leg down, and we're going to climb to the top of the tree so we can get a really lovely view. So taking out of our bags our binoculars, and we're going to keep our feet still as we twist as far as you can round to one side, and then round the other way. Good, coming back to the centre. So we now need to make our way down the other side of the hill. And as we come down, there's loads of swishy grass. So take your feet a little bit wider apart, and we're going to sweep the arms up to one side, keep the knees nice and soft as you have a nice swish from side to side. Coming all the way down, keep that swishiness. And the 
begin to make your way all the way back up again. Okay, now as we move through the swishy grass, it's quite tricky because the grass is quite tall. So you're going to have to take a nice big step forward and then move the grass out of your way. Take a nice step, moving the grass. So just in your time, moving around your room, nice step. Move the grass. Okay, and as we come a little bit further, the ground begins to get a little bit boggy. So as you walk, it's a bit tricky and you have to pull one leg out of the mud as you move around. Oh, it's getting really muddy. And then we can see why it's getting so muddy because at the bottom of the hill is a great big river. Now we need to try and get across the river. Luckily, to one side we see a boat. So we jump into the boat, grab hold of the oars, and we're going to stretch all the way up with the oars, rowing forwards, and then purling back. So it's quite hard work. Lovely. Now, as we drift across the river, we look over the board and we can see various things in the river. So we're going to have a little look at different things we can see. We can see lots of fish. So have the legs out in front, hands underneath the bottom, and dropping down to the elbows, then you can keep the head up or drop the head back. We also see, because it's such a lovely clear river, we actually think that maybe we see some dolphins. So take your elbows and forearms down to the mat and then letting your bottom lift up so it's a bit like a do downward dog pose but with your elbows down. And luckily, lying onto your tummy, coming onto your side, we don't see any crocodiles. Okay, so coming to the other side of the river, and we can see a cave in front of us. It's coming back into a downward dog pose, but taking your legs a little bit wider, like a big cave. And we're going to creep quietly into the cave. And as we come into the cave, it's very, very dark. But luckily we have candle with us. So candle pose, we're going to roll back onto your shoulders, letting your legs lift up. And imagine that your feet are in a nice flame, so maybe have a little wiggle of your toes. Good, coming back down. And as we light the candle, we look over to the back of the cave, and we can see a sleeping bear. nice and curled up, having a nice winter's nap. And so we decide to very quietly tiptoe out the cave. So can you move as quietly as you can without making any noise? And we come to the river, do you remember the river pose? Taking the legs out in front, folding forward. And we jump into our boat. Grab hold of the oars. It's a nice big rowing movements to get across the river. Come to the other side. We're going to stop and have a quick look. So sitting down. So we're going to twist all the way round to one side. I can't see anybody coming. Let's check the other side. Nope, nobody coming. So we need to make our way through the mud. So it's quite splodgy. We're going to have to lift one leg, lifting the other. Moving away. Oh, it's really hard in the mud. 
Check you don't lose one of your wellies. Okay, then we come to the swishy grass. Remember, a nice step forward. Move the grass out the way. Take another step. Moving the grass out the way. Okay, and just for a moment, we can see how beautiful the grass looks. Nice, long, green grass waving in the breeze. Okay, you just have from side to side. Moving it all the way down. Okay, coming into a nice big hill pose with that nice steep hill in front of us. So we need to climb up the hill. So remember we did opposite. So lift one leg and then lifting the other arm. Bring those down. Lift the other leg and the other arm. Get them maybe coming a little bit quicker. Making sure that you're lifting the opposites. A little bit quicker. Good, all the way to the top where that lovely big tree is. So if you can remember which leg you did tree on the other time, see if you can swap to the other side. Spread your arms out. Maybe the branches of the tree having a little sway in the breeze as well. Good balance. Take out the binoculars. Having a little check, so sweeping all the way around behind you. Coming back to the centre, looking the other side. Luckily, we can't see anything. So we make our way down the hill, all the way down to our garden gate. So we're going to open the gate, so taking one leg out, reach the arm up. And through the gate, remember to close the gate, always close the gate. Good, sweep the arm up, and we come all the way back to our bed. Good, take the legs out in front, hands behind, and just lifting up through the body to make a bed pose. Head up or drop the head down. Good, coming back down to the mat. I'm going to come into a nice line twist. So lie on your back, bring both knees into your tummy. Take your arms wide. And then dropping the knees down to one side, turn the head to the other. Nice line twist. Change the other side. Okay, coming back to the centre and then lying down along your mat. Or on the carpet, wherever you are. Scrunch up your toes, relax your feet. Scrunch up your hands, relax your hands. Bring your shoulders up to your ears and then relax them down. Scrunch up your face, relax your face. Resting your hands on your tummy. And just feeling your breath. As you breathe in, feeling the tummy rise. And as you breathe out, feeling it drop. Breathing in, tummy rises. Breathing out, tummy drops. In, tummy rises. Breathing out, tummy drops. So I want you to think about the loudest noise that you can hear right now. And then I want 
you to think about the quietest noise that you can hear. fingers wriggling your toes as your arms reach up behind the head and as you exhale bring both knees into the chest hands around the knees take a little rock from side to side and then when you're ready make your way all the way up to sitting Keep smiling, keep happy, and I will see you soon.